you have a puppy who bites your ankles? When you're walking through the room, do they just run up to you and grab onto your ankles? Or when your kids are playing, do you feel like they're gonna be tackled by your puppy? Maybe you're just standing still and your puppy out of nowhere just comes up and bites. Well, we're gonna address that today. How do we stop your puppy from biting your ankles? We literally teach your puppy that when you move, even in crazy running or with floppy slippers on, that your puppy is gonna be rewarded for not chasing you. You want your puppy to be able to chase, just not your ankles. So what do you do? You come up with things to help your puppy. And we're gonna talk about all these in a moment. But let's address first how to stop your puppy from biting your ankles. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with slippers. We're going to put the slippers on and stand still. This is Nikki. I'm standing still and I'm gonna feed her. Now, granted, she's not a puppy, but this will work for your puppy. I've done it with many other people over the years. So I'm going to shift and I'm gonna reward her. And I'm gonna shift back and I'm going to go back and forth. So everything we do with the slippers and she is not coming near the slippers, I'm gonna reward her. I'm gonna dance a little bit in slippers. See what's happening? Your puppy is being rewarded for not moving. And you can continue on. You can slip on a boot. I've got my boot on now. So let's see what happens if I move the boot. Oh, we're still okay. Can you picture your puppy when the boot moves? Well then don't move it very much. And you can walk and you can dance. Your puppy is learning not to bite. That doesn't mean that your kids can run past so we have to practice that too. But slow movement is what's gonna make it so that your puppy is going to understand no movement and you get rewarded. Sandals are also something that puppies like to chase because they flop. So you move and you feed. Now if your puppy is too focused on the sandals, then what you do is you put the treat on the ground so that your puppy knows that to keep looking at the ground and not at the sandals. So you can see no matter what you have that you're wearing, your puppy is learning not to chase it. With this method, I can stand here at the steps and I can run up and down the steps and my puppy is not going to chase me. I can go down the steps and come back up the steps and my puppy is still here. They know that I can run around and they don't need to follow me. In the video, how to stop your puppy biting your fingers when you pet them, this was a great exercise. Puppy stands still, holds until you pet them, and then you can do more petting, and then you feed can also be used with feet. And then you feed. So you see, I can dance, I can pet her, I can do all these things, I can rough her up. And she knows at the end of it that she's going to get a reward. This is a positive, effective way to teach your puppy not to bite your ankles. You also have to consider, who is your puppy? What is his heritage? Is he a herding breed? Is he a Border Collie, Australian Shepherd, German Shepherd, Collie, Corgi, Blue Heeler? All of those breeds are gonna have so much instinct to chase. So this exercise we just demonstrated will help your puppy, but you also have to satisfy their needs. You can have tug toys that they can chase make those tug toys move your puppies love to chase so get your puppy to play with a positive toy when they are playing with you and you are pulling on the toy or you're running around and they're chasing it if they bite your ankle stop don't move 
stop playing. And your puppy says, what happened? That's exactly how they will learn not to bite you. They want to play, so they'll learn not to bite, combined with the exercise we just did, if you stop playing every time they bite your ankles. If you have a puppy that loves to chase, don't forget about those Frisbees. Take your puppy out, throw the Frisbee, let them chase it. Teach your puppy to bring it back to you. Once your puppy learns the cue, leave it, then you can use that when they start to bite. You can go to the video, teach your dog to leave it, which I will put above, and that will give you um, information on how to teach your dog leave it. There are many Kong toys that are safe for your puppy. One of them is the wobbler, and I will put a link to it below. You can put their dog food in the bottom and it screws on the top and your puppy can bat it back and forth and the dog food comes out. There's also a treat ball. Remember that everything you give your puppy, you have to watch them. You have to be careful. I don't leave bully sticks with my dog in a crate, but I leave a Kong with my puppy at all times. There are certain things that I want to watch my puppy. When they finish the taking the food out of the Omega treat ball, I put it up. I don't want them starting to chew on the ball. Also, you have to satisfy their needs. Now, there are different toys. This is a tricky treat ball. You can put treats in it, put their dog food in it, and let your puppy enjoy playing with the ball. If you have a puppy who, who loves to pull things out, there are toys on the market that have little toys inside of them and your puppy can learn to pull them out. Kongs are always great. Stuff frozen Kongs. Look for things that are going to satisfy your dog's needs. This is a snuffle mat. And I will put the link to the video above and also in the description below. You put your dog's dog food in the snuffle mat and your puppy can have fun taking the treats out of the snuffle mat. There are many different types. So you have all of these toys. Satisfy your dog's needs, give them exercise, and make sure they're not too tired. And when they have learned the game of you can dance and play and they don't even move, then your puppy will no longer bite your ankles. There are times, however, when your kids are playing soccer ball or you know they're playing basketball, or they're just so much running, they're playing tag, it's just not a good time for your puppy to be out with them. Then give your puppy a stuffed frozen Kong, put them in your crate, let them relax, let them chew on an elk antler, whatever you have. That will help your puppy to be calm while your kids are playing at a level that even the best puppy couldn't resist. If you'd like to see more videos about puppy biting, there is a playlist, of, there is a video, Puppy First Night Away From Mom. Thank you for watching Diamond Dog Training, where we provide you with positive, effective training tips to help you train your dog. If you like the video, subscribe and ring the bell so that you'll receive all the episodes. Bye from Joyce at Diamond Dog Training.